Massive thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay are your one-stop solution for all of your DIY project needs. They offer all kinds of different PCB printing options, including multi-layered PCBs and flexible ones. As well as that, they are now offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and even injection molding. Check out PCBWay using the link in the description. <coughs> Bless me. Just quickly, um, I accidentally made a mistake in this video. There is actually a Lavender 2ES XL in the UK, and it was a Tamagotchi version, or Tama Tamadachi. Was it Tamagotchi? It was one of those. Anyway, I got it wrong, so ignore the fact that I keep saying Japanese exclusive, although this specific unit only was Japanese exclusive. It does look like it was also a special edition kind of packaged in with a game. So I recently ordered a bunch of Nintendo DS's from Japan and this is one of the ones that arrived. This is a Lavender 2DS XL. I also did a video not too long ago on the Lavender regular 2DS and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. It gets quite a lot of use in this household because it's probably one of my favorite Nintendo DS's. Unfortunately, these things do have region locks on them, uh, but games like you know, this, which is the Japanese version, you don't really need to be able to speak Japanese to play. I don't know why Nintendo didn't release this version elsewhere in the world, but I'm really glad to have my hands on it. So when I discovered that Nintendo made a 2DS XL in Lavender, I was like, well, I absolutely have to own that. And I now do. So here it is. Um, one of the things I mentioned in the unboxing of all of these, I didn't unbox the actual units themselves. I just unboxed the boxes from the one big box from Japan, from Sendako. And uh, one of the things I picked up on was the fact that this box is absolutely tiny. I mean, look at it compared to the 2DS, uh, the regular 2DS. It's absolutely tiny. I'm assuming it doesn't come with a charger. That's probably, it probably says that somewhere on here, I imagine. But this is all in Japanese. Uh, the box is pretty much like a similar kind of design to this. It's got those sort of cutesy artwork things in the background. Um, I also don't think there's much in the way of lavender actually on this DS, which is not going to be massively disappointing because the accents of the lavender are very, very nice. But there is something very nice about having just this one big slab of lavender goodness and then the sort of the darker accents uh, elsewhere on the unit as well. So it's a slightly different style. I'm certainly not mad that it's not one big lavender unit, uh, but you know, We'll see. Let's see. We can we can all look at it together and figure out which one we prefer. But let's open up this box. Uh, did we get enough of a look at the box? You can see there there's an Amiibo, um, like NRC, NFC, whatever it's called, reader in the middle there. Uh, it's got, talking about the C stick, which is not present on here. Obviously, given that this is the new Nintendo 2DS XL, uh, it, it's going to have like some extra features um, to play the new Nintendo 3DS games, like Monster Hunter, which actually utilizes that. C stick there and stuff um, but yeah you can see down the side a bit more of the design it's such a beautiful box Japan they just crush it always they absolutely always crush it so we finally can look at the uh, the, the plastic bag that this thing comes in I'm really excited about that and if we set that off to the side we can take a look at what we have in here there's a very small manual kind of feels like something's missing from here but maybe that is just all it comes with now and the ar cards which are all sealed and there's the serial number on the back there which i imagine is going to be the exact same one as the unit um i don't know what condition this is going to be in i'm guessing it's probably going to be quite good um, i don't know how much i paid for this um, but yeah let's have a look here okay so wow um i'm gonna bring the camera in a bit more I have to say, this looks absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of something going on the back here. I'm not sure if that's a bit of damage. It kind of looks like it could be like a super glue stain. It doesn't seem to be easily coming off. But besides that, it looks in really, really good condition. These, This flap here can actually get a little bit... Um, damaged from from constantly being opened which is a bit stupid because you constantly will need to open this to put your ds cartridges in but then you can kind of see that it doesn't like close properly a uh, little bit of a design flaw the other thing as well which i hate is that the camera is like half exposed there at the top there are a couple of things on this 2ds which did feel just a little bit rushed um you know i i also am not overly fond of the fact that the speakers 
are in the bottom and are facing basically directly into the palm of your hand where you're gonna be holding this unit. Um, obviously, historically, the speakers have always been up here, but you do have to admit, that just looks absolutely stunning. Also, totally looks like an iPhone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've done repair videos on these uh, before and they're not made that well. I mean, I don't remember them being that expensive in, in, in fairness, but they're not the best uh, build quality of Nintendo DS uh, out there. But then again, historically, most Nintendo DS uh, consoles, in fact, most Nintendo consoles in general are quite plasticky, aren't they? Other than the Game Boy Micro. Um, but yeah, this is, is, is absolutely lovely. You can see the two cameras there on the back. It does take 3D pictures, but you just can't actually view them in 3D on the 2DS because there is no there's no 3D. Um, I never really use the 3D anyway though. So let's actually talk about the this specific version because that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the lavender version. You can see it is white. Um, that, there were actually a couple of, uh, there's the white and orange one that was released in the UK. Um, and so this is basically exactly the same, but purple. You can see there, the power button is lavender. That looks absolutely lovely. As are the shoulder buttons. You've obviously also got this little uh, border up here, which is lavender too. And I really like the, uh, the sort of the line, diagonal line design that's on there too. And then when you flip it open, A, B, X, Y, that's in lavender too. And so is the D-pad. And that is it. Oh, how could we forget the volume slider? That's also lavender as well. Um, so yeah, that's it in terms of the lavender. There is no more lavender on here. Let's see if there's anything on this unit. I'm hoping for some photos. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's missing the stylus. I was trying to find the stylus. Yeah, there's nothing on here. That's a shame. I was trying to find the stylus to see, uh, to see where, to see where, what color that was going to be. But I guess we'll never know. One thing that um, I kind of was a bit confused by was this. This was included with something that I ordered in the recent parcel. I have to say this is now my new favorite thing because I can just plug this into a portable power bank and then anywhere at any point charge my, my DS console, which is just fantastic. Absolutely love that. I'm not gonna be able to, find, I'll try and find a link maybe for this or something because I feel like there'd be a lot of people that would find this quite useful. But there we have it. We're in to the DS now. We don't really need to take too much of a look at this because uh, at the end of the day, we were just looking at the actual design itself. The, uh, the 2DS has been around for a very long time. I suppose what we can do though, is plug in this DS game. Now this is region locked, as I said, so you're not gonna be able to play all of the games that you wish on here. Um, I suppose if you were really that fussed on having a lavender uh, DS, I love that it makes that sound, by the way. That's, that's a great TikTok as well, I should probably do that. Uh, we'll just play one little level for the sake of it. I'm very soon gonna be live streaming some, uh, some, some games and stuff like that, which I'm really excited to do because I've never actually done uh, much in the way of, of, of games on this channel and I and I love the games so uh, it'd be quite fun to um, to do a, a, a live stream of that so I don't know if you guys are keen but that's gonna be over on Twitch I'll announce that closer to the time <gasps> why is that not a, a power-up that's just so unfair I hated this level I really really hated this level any any level like this where there's a platform that's moving and you've got to like you know, go along with the screen moving. So stressful, especially especially when there's enemies like this. And also I haven't got a mushroom, so I'm one hit away from death. There we go, that'll do. Don't hurt me. Ah. So yeah, I don't know if you guys are keen for some live streaming, but uh, I'm really excited about it. So hopefully, hopefully you will be too. I mean, the 2DS, the uh, any any of the XLs, the screens are stretched, so it actually does make a lot more sense to play it like on a screen like this size, so that it's it's a more sort of authentic resolution. Uh, so it looks a lot higher quality because this kind of looks a little bit bad. Um, but then again. It's not that deep. <laughs> it's really not that deep at all. The games still look really good. Um, but yeah, I do like playing it on the, the, on the 2DS, uh, the regular 2DS, because it's just such a comfy console to play on. Oh my goodness me, this is awful. This is awful. <gasps> no. 
Ah! Ah! This is going so well. I'm basically a pro. Come on. This is such a horrible level. How did you even manage, how were you even meant to get that coin? That's awful. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely keen to live stream this kind of stuff if you are too, uh, if you are keen to watch that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm not sure I wanna do the boss right now. Uh, you know what, let's do it, let's do it. Let's let's give it a go. I've got absolutely no chance of, of defeating this guy, but we can give it a go. <gasps> I hope you've all enjoyed this video. This is the Lavender new 2DS XL Japanese exclusive. I'm going to be doing a video on this one next. This is the turquoise and black limited edition uh, Japanese exclusive. Again, probably one of the most gorgeous colors um, of DS that I think I've ever actually seen. It looks truly divine. Um, very excited to make a video on that. Stick around, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all in that next video. Goodbye.